Mitch Dunning, a familiar face in the hockey world, began his journey on the ice as a defenseman for the Ontario Hockey League's Windsor Spitfires. From a young age, he showed immense promise and dedication, quickly becoming a standout player in the league. Dunning's time with the Spitfires, while successful and filled with memorable moments, didn't translate to an NHL career as a player. Despite his best efforts and undeniable talent, the dream of playing in the NHL eluded him. However, Dunning's passion for hockey didn't end there. His love for the game was too strong to let go, and he sought other ways to stay involved in the sport that had shaped his life. He found a new path, trading in his stick for a whistle and embarking on a new journey as an NHL referee. This transition wasn't easy, but Dunning embraced the challenge with the same determination he had as a player. Dunning's dedication and hard work paid off, earning him a spot among the elite officials in the NHL. His journey from player to referee was marked by perseverance and an unwavering commitment to the sport. His experience as a player gave him a unique understanding of the game, allowing him to anticipate plays and make decisive calls on the ice. This insight proved invaluable, helping him to excel in his new role. Dunning quickly gained the respect of players and coaches alike, known for his fairness and composure under pressure. His ability to remain calm and collected in high-stakes situations earned him admiration across the league. His commitment to the integrity of the game was evident in every call he made, solidifying his place as a respected figure in the NHL. Dunning's decisions on the ice were always guided by a deep sense of fairness and respect for the sport. Dunning's story is a testament to the enduring power of passion and determination. His journey shows that even when one path closes, another can open, leading to unexpected and fulfilling opportunities. Even though his NHL dreams took an unexpected turn, he found a way to stay connected to the game he loved, proving that success can be found on and off the ice. Dunning's journey is an inspiration to all who face setbacks, reminding us that perseverance and passion can lead to new and rewarding paths. The November 21st matchup between the Colorado Avalanche and the Philadelphia Flyers at the Pepsi Center took a frightening turn, leaving players and fans holding their breath. During the second period, a routine play turned into a heart-stopping moment as Avalanche defenseman Josh Manson collided with referee Mitch Dunning. The force of the impact sent Dunning hard into the boards, leaving him motionless on the ice. The arena fell silent as medical personnel rushed to Dunning's aid, the gravity of the situation settling over the stunned crowd. Players from both teams looked on with concern etched on their faces, the usual heat of competition fading into the background. The incident served as a stark reminder of the inherent risks present in the fast-paced physical sport of hockey. Even with protective gear and precautions in place, accidents can happen, highlighting the vulnerability of those on the ice, including the officials. In the immediate aftermath of the collision, Josh Manson's concern for Dunning was palpable. Visibly shaken, Manson stayed close to Dunning while he received medical attention, his expression a mixture of worry and remorse. This moment transcended the usual dynamics of the game, highlighting the shared humanity between players and officials. Despite the competitive fire that fuels these athletes, the well-being of everyone on the ice takes precedence. Manson's reaction resonated with viewers, showcasing the deep respect and camaraderie that exists within the hockey community. It was a powerful reminder that beyond the rivalries and the pursuit of victory, there is a shared understanding of the risks involved and a genuine concern for the safety of everyone involved. Mitch Dunning's path to becoming an NHL referee was paved with the same dedication and passion that fueled his playing days. His journey is a testament to the relentless pursuit of excellence and the love for the game that never fades. After his time with the Windsor Spitfires, Dunning knew he wasn't quite done with hockey. The thrill of the game, the camaraderie, and the sheer joy of being on the ice were things he couldn't leave behind. He felt a pull towards officiating, recognizing it as an opportunity to stay involved in the sport he loved while giving back to the game. Officiating offered a new challenge and a way to contribute to the sport from a different angle. The transition from player to official wasn't without its challenges. It was a demanding shift that required not just physical training, but also mental preparation and a deep understanding of the rules. It required Dunning to develop a new set of skills, learning the intricacies of the NHL rulebook, and honing his ability to make split-second decisions under pressure. The pressure was immense, 
but so was his determination. However, Dunning's experience as a player proved invaluable, giving him a unique perspective on the game and the ability to anticipate plays. His background allowed him to understand the player's mindset and the flow of the game better. Dunning's transition from player to official highlights the diverse paths to success within the hockey world. It shows that there are many ways to stay connected to the sport and make a meaningful impact. It's a testament to the enduring power of passion and the ability to reinvent oneself while staying connected to the heart of the game. Dunning's story is an inspiration to all who wish to follow their passion, no matter where it leads. Following the collision, medical personnel swiftly attended to Dunning on the ice, prioritizing his stabilization and assessment. The medical team acted with utmost professionalism, ensuring Dunning received immediate care while maintaining a calm and controlled environment on the ice. Dunning was carefully immobilized and transported off the ice on a stretcher, met with a wave of applause and well wishes from the concerned crowd. He was then transported to a local hospital for further evaluation and treatment, where he underwent a series of tests to determine the extent of his injuries. The NHL released a statement shortly after the incident, confirming Dunning's consciousness and responsiveness. The statement emphasized that Dunning's health and well-being were of paramount importance, and that updates on his condition would be provided as they became available. Section 6. The Long Road Back. Dunning's Projected Timeline. While the full extent of Dunning's injuries has yet to be disclosed, early reports indicate a concussion and potential upper body injuries. The NHL has not released a definitive timeline for Dunning's return to officiating, prioritizing his complete recovery over a rushed return to the ice. Dunning's recovery process will likely involve a phased approach, beginning with rest and observation, followed by gradual reintroduction to physical activity. Concussion protocols will be strictly adhered to, ensuring Dunning's cognitive function and neurological health are prioritized throughout his recovery. The NHL medical staff, in conjunction with Dunning's personal medical team, will continue to monitor his progress, providing ongoing support and guidance throughout his rehabilitation. The focus remains on Dunning's long-term health and well-being, allowing him the time and space needed for a full and complete recovery. Section 7. Outpouring of Support. The hockey community rallies around Dunning. In the wake of the incident, an outpouring of support for Dunning has flooded in from all corners of the hockey community. Players, coaches, officials, and fans alike have taken to social media to express their concern and well wishes for his speedy recovery. The Colorado Avalanche and Philadelphia Flyers organizations both released statements expressing their concern for Dunning's well-being and thanking the medical staff for their swift response. The NHL Officials Association also issued a statement commending Dunning's professionalism and dedication to his role and offering unwavering support throughout his recovery. The incident has served as a reminder of the close-knit nature of the hockey community. Despite the inherent competitiveness of the sport, there exists a deep sense of camaraderie and support that transcends team affiliations. Dunning's injury has resonated throughout the hockey world, highlighting the shared humanity that binds this community together. Section 8. The Whistle Still Blows. Officiating in the Face of Adversity. Dunning's injury has brought to light the often overlooked risks that NHL officials face on a nightly basis. While players wear protective gear designed to mitigate the impact of collisions, officials are more vulnerable, relying on their positioning and awareness to avoid dangerous situations. Despite the inherent risks, NHL officials demonstrate unwavering courage and commitment, ensuring the integrity of the game while navigating a fast-paced and physically demanding environment. They are an integral part of the game, responsible for upholding the rules and ensuring a fair and safe playing field for everyone involved. Dunning's dedication to his role, even in the face of this unfortunate incident, speaks volumes about his character and his passion for the sport. His story serves as a reminder of the sacrifices officials make and the resilience they exhibit on and off the ice. Section 9. Back to the Grind a testament to Dunning's resilience. While the road to recovery may be long and arduous, those who know Mitch Dunning have no doubt he will approach his rehabilitation with the same determination and resilience he has displayed throughout his illustrious career. His journey is not just about physical healing, but also about mental fortitude and emotional strength. His passion for hockey